بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ گارجیس اور دا موسٹ مرسیفل السلام علیکم ایوریون دس از حبیبہ ارشد آئی ایم اسٹوڈنٹ آف بی ایس میتھمیٹکس ان پنجاب یونیورسٹی مائی رول نمبر ایز بی ایس ٹو زیرو ٹو سیون This presentation is by group number 7 which is presented to Sir Zishan Yusuf. The topic assigned to me is Embedded Operating System. I will discuss it in detail in this video and later part will be presented by Fatima Nadeem. I am going to deal with these points. First of all, I will talk about what is embedded system. Secondly, we will talk about its examples. Thirdly, I will talk about what is embedded operating system. Then main job of embedded operating system. Then its examples. Then we will discuss its characteristics in detail. After that, its applications. Then types of embedded operating system then main feature of real-time operating system and finally I will tell you about types of real-time operating system well the objective of my presentation is to help you to understand the topic embedded operating system I had appreciated if you could leave any questions you may have until the end of my presentation I had like to begin my presentation by definition of embedded system. So let's get started. As you can see in this slide, what is embedded system? Embedded systems are a specially designed computer system that essentially contains software and hardware for performing specific tasks. It is capable to perform specific tasks independently or it can be used in any vast system. We find embedded system everywhere around us in our daily life. Embedded system is used in various applications as you can see in this slide. Manufacturing equipment, domestic appliances, audio-visual equipment, gaming consoles, telecommunication equipment, medical devices, cars and vehicles, motion sensors. Now moving on to its examples. As you can see in this slide, these are some examples of embedded system which are cell phone, laptops, cameras, washing machine, hair straightener, ATM that is automated teller machine and traffic lights and last one is digital television etc. You can see these examples in these slides cell phones, laptops, camera, washing machine, hair straightener, ATM, traffic lights and digital television. Now moving on to my main topic that is embedded operating system. As you can see in this slide the definition of embedded operating system. What is embedded operating system? An embedded operating system is a specialized operating system designed to perform a specific task for a device that is not a computer. As the name suggests, embedded operating system is an embedded systems operating system. It has limited features. It is usually designed for some particular operations to control an electronic device. For instance, all mobile phones essentially consist of an operating system that always boots up when the mobile phone is in running condition. It controls all the features and basic interface of the mobile phone.
Embedded operating system refers as a combination of software and hardware. Embedded operating system is written with programming code and it helps to convert hardware language into software language like as C, C++ and finally it produces the result that easily can be understandable by human being in the different formats like as pictures, text and voice. Embedded operating system is also known as real time operating system. Now moving on to its main job. An embedded operating system's main job is to run the code that allows the device to do its job. To conclude, we can say that that is used in most handheld computers and small devices is called embedded operating system. It resides on ROM chips. Moving on to examples of embedded operating system. Some examples of embedded so operating system are Windows Mobile that is for pocket personal computer. The next one is Windows CE. The next one is Symbian operating system that is mainly cell phones. And next one is Linux. And last one is Palm operating system. Now I will tell you about characteristics of embedded operating system the main characteristics of embedded operating system are real time operation reactive operation configurability input output device flexibility direct use of interrupts fast and lightweight and last one is small size now we will discuss it in detail. The first characteristic or a feature of re embedded operating system is real time operation. Embedded systems generally have real time operating system to perform the task in a given time frame. As we know that real time embedded systems have a time constraint to execute the task. This time is called a deadline. The soft real-time system may vary the deadline, but the hard real-time system must complete the task in a given time frame. Moving on to the next characteristic or a feature of embedded operating system, that is reactive operation. A system is called reactive if it acts on certain input by the user in the form of switch press or by some sensor. Here system is re reacting based on the sensor input. Now moving on to the next characteristic that is configurability. As we know that embedded systems are designed as per the application requirement and according to the hardware we need to customize the embedded operating system. So the operating system should be designed in such a way that an embedded developer can configure the operating system as per the need. Moving on to the next feature that is input output device flexibility. There is no generalized hardware that is suitable or adjustable for all operating system variants. The next characteristic or a feature is direct use of interrupts. The embedded operating system provides the use of interrupts to give them more control over the peripheral. Now moving on to the next feature or a characteristic of embedded operating system that is fast and lightweight. As the embedded systems have small CPU with limited processing power it should be customized perfectly so that it can execute fast. So these are also lightweight. The last one characteristic or a feature of embedded operating system is small size. The size is every time considered in an embedded system because it has very limited resources like RAM, ROM and CPU power. So keep the embedded operating system small 
as possible to fit into given memory space so that covers everything i want to say about embedded operating system the remaining part of this presentation that is types of embedded operating system with explanation and applications of embedded operating system then main features of real time operating system and last one is types of real time operating system will be presented by Fatima Nadeem roll number 50 first i spoke about embedded system then its examples then we looked at what is embedded operating system and finally i explained you about the characteristics of embedded operating system in this presentation we will uh, we also discussed about examples of embedded operating system and its main job that's the end of my presentation i hope you enjoyed it Thank you very much for your attention. Allah Hafiz.